So this video, I'm going to be reviewing a uh, new house, um, well, at least new house for my channel. Um, there's been several other reviews of the house, but they are still relatively new house. And there has been, uh, I feel like, not a whole lot of reviews done on it. Um, I had took advantage of one of the recent sales to try out a bunch of their products. Uh, so I could give a review on them. Um, they seem to be mixed as far as reviews go. So anyway, it's a clone house. Uh, I think they say they're based in France, or the the you know fragrances are actually made in France, uh, and that is the house of uh, Dossier. So um, yeah. Anyway, they do both niche clones and designer clones. They only have a handful of fragrances, but they are expanding. They have a decent selection for women and men. Um, they definitely have more uh, designer clones than niche clones, but they do have a decent selection. So anyway, just jump right into it. The presentation, they come to you in these boxes. They're actually pretty nice. Um, it's got the little name of their inspiration on the back. Um, they do call their inspirations something else, very generic kind of name. So this one, for example, is called Spicy Vetiver. Um, and this one is Woody Basil. So I got just got these two in relatively recently. They're brand new releases from the, the house. I do, however, have a quite a, quite a collection of uh, some of their other fragrances. So I can give a lot of feedback on those. Since I've had them for a while these it's going to be kind of more of a first impressions um because i just got these so i can't really speak to performance longevity uh you know siage anything like that but the ones i've had for a while i certainly can so anyway these are the two newest releases from the house come in a little box like this here's the card looks like it leaked that's great um probably the decants leaking hopefully not the, the big one I think it was the decant. I don't know, but you can see it leaked in the bottom there. So, it's obviously not great. I will say this the first time it's happened. Uh, but that's the box. It falls in there. They do include a little decant. It's kind of the cool thing about the house is you get a little decant to test it. If you don't like the fragrance, you can send it back. As long as you don't spray the larger bottle. Here's the presentation on the larger bottle. Uh, this is the decant. So they give you this to test it out. This, as you can see, it's got a little note breakdown. It says you what it's inspired by. This is YSL Ohm EDT. Um, this is the concentration on there. It's only 15%. Uh, da, da, da. It tells you about the refill and how you can go about getting a refill. So, presentation. They're actually these really nice, uh, pretty cool looking glass bottles. Uh, it's got the size on the bottom. Um, you know, their location, they're based in New York, but they say that their fragrances are made in France. That really matters. You know, fragrances made anywhere, it doesn't mean they're quality. Uh, they either are, they're not. You could have fragrances made in China that are top of the line, and you could have, you know, uh, fragrances made in France that are trash. It really just depends on the quality of the ingredients you're putting in there. But anyway, they think it sells by saying it's made in France, I guess. It's a marketing thing. Labels on here. Again, it's got the inspiration name of their inspiration. Uh, this is Woody Basil. It says the notes, top, middle, and base. Uh, it's got a cat. This is the cool thing about the cat. It is magnetic. It's pretty neat for a cheap fragrance. Uh, these costs, the designer versions cost now, who knows if it'll go up, but the base price of it before any discounts are applied is $29 for 50 mil. Not bad. If you break it down per milliliter, uh, this isn't a huge savings, really, uh, towards the original, um, when you compare it to the original. Some of them are. This one's really not, because uh, you can get about 100 mil of this for about 60 of the real deal, around that, and a little more, maybe. So, you're not really saving a ton of money, but with the discounts, you can. Um, they used to have a lot better discounts. Black Friday, they had a 50% off when you bought up five or six fragrances. They had 40%, went up to 50 eventually. Uh, they had 35% off at one point. Now it's gone down to 20. Uh, and you got to buy like five or six to get the 20% discount. So 
it's not as good as it used to be. Um, and that said, another problem with this house is, is the prices keep going up. So designers are still 29. The niche though, the niche line for the majority of them, except for Tom Ford's Oud Wood, which the reason they don't increase that price, I imagine is because it's not selling because from everything I've heard, I have not tested it myself. That one does not smell really anything like Oud Wood. But the rest of them, well, across the board, even Oud Wood went up to $39, okay? Uh, they were all 29 originally, even Niche and the designers. Well, now the Niche are 39, the designers 29. Well, as of last week, the ones that were 39 of the niche are now $49, okay? Except for Tom Ford's Oud Wood. So now you're paying 50 bucks for a clone. Um, and not that that's unusual or outrageous. Dua, Alexandria, really any of the houses uh, can be about that, especially before discounts. The question then becomes, is this better than Dua or Alexandria? Now, I guess it's a little more than that because you're still getting 20 more milliliters out of this. But do I think that, um, you know, these are worth the, do I think it's worth paying $49 for this compared to some of their houses? I'll get into that. First, I want to get into kind of my experience. This is going to be a little long of video. Unfortunately, I might break this into two. Um, I think I will do that. I think I'll just keep this as a house review video. I'll go into these two here in a little bit, a little later on, but I will show you the atomizer just to show you how they are. Nice atomizers. Um, so I've tested from the house so far, Dior Sauvage, it's the EDT version, uh, Armani Code, the original, YSLY, EDP. Um, uh, Joe Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt and Creative Ventus, um, and Blue de Chanel, uh, EDT, or no, it's the EDP actually. Uh, um, is that it? I think, no, no, I've also, well, yes, those are the ones I've tried uh, for the men's line. I have also um, tested some of the women's line, uh, I'm gonna go into that, but when I break it down, I will say this, performance and longevity on these, is not great, okay? Some of them is better than the others. Um, from what I have seen, the, the only ones that really perform, perform for a longer period of time than two hours, two and a half hours, um, are the YSLY EDP and the Dior Sauvage EDT. Both of those perform pretty well. You can get at least four hours out of them. Um, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm comparing it to their other offerings. Uh, Creative Ventus, you know, I spray five or six sprays on that. As you can see, the atomizer sprays quite a bit. I get maybe two hours, two and a half. Uh, it's a very close skin scent at that, that latter half of that, you know, uh, that last half hour. Um, you know, Dior Sauvage sticks around longer, at least get four hours out of that. YSL YDP, same thing. But if you know, those are performers in general um, before being cloned. I think problem, the problem is with a lot of these is the, the as you can tell, the concentration is so low. 15, look, if you get 18 on some of them, that's high for these. Uh, 12, some of them are. Um, so they're cheap. Uh, the designers are, especially with the discount, if you get one of the nice discounts, 50% off, $29, free shipping. Do you buy five or six? It's very cheap. Uh, that's why I took advantage of it. Uh, they work great for me for work while I'm in court because unless I have a trial going, I'm usually in court for about three or four hours. And then I go back to the office and work on stuff. So they last the majority of the time I'm at court. So these are great for that. Uh, but it's gone by the time we get to the office. Again, unless it's YSLY, EDP, or Dior Sauvage, this can kind of linger a little longer, especially in the clothing. Um, now, as far as scents go, I will kind of get into that. I mean, we'll get a little of time. I'll do a brief one, let's just do it. So Creative Ventus smells really good. Their version of Creative Ventus smells really good, but it smells fruitier, it smells sweeter. It's like a very fruity batch of Creative Ventus uh, with a very uh, kind of little amped up sweetness in a way that to me kind of makes it almost lean a little more unisex, but it does smell very good. Uh, I was surprised, honestly, I was impressed from what my expectations were. It does smell very good. 
it almost has a Mancera scissored boy, uh, boise, um, kind of vibe to it, but it smells more like, it smells like Creative Mentis. It just has that kind of like fruitiness to it. Um, I do enjoy it. I really do. Um, so that's good. I've gotten compliments on that as well. Uh, Dior Sauvage, EDT. It smells very close to the original, but it is slightly less uh, refined. It's not as well blended. It has more of a just, I don't want to say chemical smell to it, but it's just not as smooth around the edges. It has the same scent profile, just not as smooth. Again, performance longevity is pretty good on that. It does project pretty well on that. YSL YDP, EDP, but the perform is very close to the original. I was actually very impressed with that because YSL YEDP is one of my favorite um, office fragrances. Uh, it's a very versatile blue fragrance, and I was expecting theirs to be, you know, not as good. Um, theirs does smell very good. Uh, it, it's kind of, well, I mean, it, it, it's, I'd say it's about 90% identical. It's not one-to-one. -one. It almost kind of leans towards the live a little bit, just a little bit, but it does smell a lot like YSL YEDP, and I do love that one. I've got compliments on that as well. No surprise, I guess, uh, given what it's a clone of. Um, Joe Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. That's pretty good. Longevity sucks on it. Uh, you know, performance and longevity are not good on that. Um, Armani Code, that smells pretty identical to Code as well. Um, it's a little, let's say a little sweeter than the original. Uh, performance is definitely not as good as the original. Again, I get maybe three hours out of it. Uh, Blue de Chanel, same thing. The Blue de Chanel, it'll perform, smells similar uh, to the real deal. Doesn't smell as deep though. Um, the EDP has that kind of richness to it, and this smells like that, but almost kind of like a toned down version of it. Um, smells more, it smells like Blue de Chanel, but it, it kind of almost has like this kind of slight, very slight Prada, you know, kind of um, alone vibe to it, where it's kind of that fresh uh, laundry sheet, dryer sheet kind of vibe. Very small though, um, but it's good. Again, performance three hours, it's gone. So, uh, you know, I don't I don't know. Creative Ventus, I think performed probably the worst of all. And like I said, I'd like if I get two and a half hours out of that. Um, but your Sauvage EDT does perform well. YSL YEDP, well for this house. You know, this isn't well compared to Dewar Alexandria or you know, what the originals, uh, for that matter, but they do perform well. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap alternative or, you know, just, you don't want to waste the real deal. I mean, not that they're that expensive. Um, if you pick these up during the discounts, I think they are worth it. Definitely worth it. But I think the discounts got to be higher than that 20% to really make it worth it. Um, and that's just my opinion. Again, you can test them and retry or, you know, send it back if you want. Now, the problem with that is what I've experienced with this company is I ordered these brand new ones. I literally got these three days later, I think. Crazy fast shipping. I didn't even know they shipped. Uh, but I've ordered something about three or four weeks ago. Haven't even got a shipping notification. I reached out to them. They said, your product should be in stock this month and they'll ship out later. You know, what the whole thing about this website is they take down fragrances that aren't in stock. So why I was able to order fragrances that are somehow out of stock or they ran out and just didn't tell me, that's kind of really obnoxious. So I'll probably get these two months after I order them. So you could get it in three days or you could get it in two months. I don't know. Uh, that's frustrating. So definitely don't, if you're someone who's impatient with your fragrances, I wouldn't order from this house. Uh, you just don't, never know what you're going to get. Customer service is good. They'll get back to you right away, but they'll pretty much just say, hey, uh, sorry about your luck. you got to wait. Uh, but they're fast at responding. So, you know, there's that. Um, anyway, you know, this is a cool house. Like I said, it, it works for what I need it for, a few hours, uh, court. Um, but it's nothing mind-blowing. Uh, and if you're paying retail and you're not using a, getting a decent discount, especially with the price of niche offerings now, I would not buy niche offerings from this house. Um, you know, Creative Ventus, um, way better clones out there that perform a hell of a lot better for $49.
And yes, do is more expensive, but you can get 25, 30% off discounts quite often. Same with Alexandria. Um, so there's no real reason to get the niche versions of this. Um, you know, and it, it just is what it is. Uh, but they do smell good. The women's line, I have smelt uh, Lost Cherry, which is technically unisex, but I, um, you know, uh, fiance wears it. That smells good. Uh, performance problems are similar. Performs a little better. It's 18% concentration, which is high for this line. Um, and if YSL Libre, that smells very good as well. Um, they did a good job on that one. So, anyway. That's that. I will do a review on these specific fragrances, but I just want to do a house review now because it was going to get way too long. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Um, like I said, there's a little risk, but the problem is, say you don't like this. Say you try this, you send it back. You might be waiting months before you get your return or your refund. I don't know. So, yeah, it's cool in theory if the company could get their stuff together. 